everyone, it's Jessie from Bear Flower Farm. Today is April 4th. It is 74 degrees and it is time to seed sunflowers. Now this is a video that I wasn't even anticipating on making, but I was posting on my Instagram stories and I got a lot of questions. So I figured this would be worth making a video of. Now, April 4th in zone 6B where I live in New Jersey is still a little bit too early to really do anything that is warm annual flowers. Now sunflowers are a bit of an exception here because if you direct see them and they grow, they are going to be a lot more frost tolerant than if you were to start them in like a soil block or a cell tray and transplant them. So we are having a bit of a very mild spring right now. So I said it's 74 today. It's going to get up to like 82 next week. Um, I'm kind of kicking myself because I had wanted to seed last week. I just never got around to it. And so Basically, you know, I think that the conditions are fine now. Now, at the end of the day, you know, we still definitely have a risk for dipping um, beyond that frost line. In fact, in a few days, I think the low is going to be 33 at night. If the seeds haven't germinated, then they're obviously safe. But if they have germinated, they should actually still be fine at that 33 degree mark. Now, let's say we get like a freak night where it's like 26 degrees, then all bets are off. But I always say that sunflower seeds are relatively cheap. You you have a lot more to gain than lose if you try to see them early and if you succeed you're going to get sunflowers a lot earlier so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my earthway seeder and basically seed that row over there but one of the signals that i want to talk about that really gave me the confidence to come out here today and say it's time to seed is seeing volunteer sunflowers pop up now i had grown a lot of sunflowers last year i had thought i pulled most them out um, or maybe there were seeds that just never germinated at the end of the season but I'm seeing them pop up randomly and so that is a signal to me that the soil conditions are actually good enough for me to do this right now so let me show you what I have for seeding today so I'm going to seed two very specific varieties today the peach as well as the white light both are pro cut so they're day neutral they're about 50 to 60 days to bloom i would expect this time of year you know we're looking more at 60 days if not above because the soil temperature is still fluctuating at night but i wanted to point out that i'm going to do white light um, earlier because i found last year that the white light gets really ravaged by the japanese beetles and so here i would say the height of that beetle uh, population is like late June, early July. So I'm hoping that by seeding these a little bit earlier, they'll bloom right as the Japanese beetles are coming out. And so therefore they're not going to get too uh, pest damaged. Um, and it gives me a little bit more time to harvest because if you don't harvest these early enough, um, basically you have to harvest them when they're closed, uh, they are going to get completely eaten by pests. So that's why I chose the white light first. And very similarly with the peach, it's a lighter sunflower. I just find that lighter sunflowers as a whole um, have less buffer in terms of the ability to harvest because of the pests. The other thing to note is that I said I'm going to use an earthway cedar. Um, this is the sweet corn template, which I've used before. I really like it. You know, we're looking at roughly a few inches of spacing in between, and sometimes two seeds will drop into one hole, which is actually ideal for the, um, the head size I want for the bloom. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to probably do the peach first, and then I'll do the white light right after. Now, if you've been following me, you'll know that um, I'm actually postpartum right now, uh, kind of like a week after. So what I love about the Earthway Cedar is I'm not bending over. I'm literally just pushing a cedar. It makes for just really easy seating as a whole. You know, for me, uh, I had a C-section, so it's good for me to get up and move around. Um, and the other thing I was going to say is ignore the beanie. I look crazy right now because it's like 74 degrees outside. But in Chinese culture, um, during the postpartum period, you actually want to keep your pores, especially your head covered. So, um, you know, this is kind of a compromise with me and my mom where she wouldn't even want me outside right now at all. So I told her I would definitely wear a beanie wherever I went, even if it meant I was wearing a beanie in what felt like to be summer type of weather. All right. 
right and that is it it literally took me less than five minutes to do this um let me show you what it looks like so it's kind of hard to see the rows but you can kind of make out where i did it um some of you might have noticed in the time lapse that i was wearing crocs my feet are so swollen right now from all the fluid that they gave me for the c-section that i only fit into my husband's crocs and i realized there's holes on the bottom of the shoe so i've been getting a lot of soil in there but regardless i was able to do this in crocs which is nice um you know current me really thanks prior me a couple of weeks ago for weeding this bed i mean i weeded and you can see there's still weeds here anyway which is fine um but the soil was really easy to push through and so um you know the earthway does a lot better when the soil is more smooth and not rocky at all um if you have more how do you say like difficult soil to work with you might want to consider something like a jang cedar but a jang cedar is like i think literally like 400 dollars versus the earthway over there is like a hundred so it's a pretty big difference in terms of price. Now some considerations here. Um, I am seeding today because the whole week coming up, you'll see the temperatures here uh, are very favorable, especially during the daytime. Now some of the night temperatures are not as favorable, but uh, because I saw some of the sunflowers germinate uh, as volunteers, I know that it's still possible for them to germinate. So that's number one, right? It just feels like within the next 10 days, the temperatures are going to be pretty favorable for germination. The second thing is that in two days, it is going to rain. And so obviously for germination, you need water. It rained, I would say two days ago. This soil is not dry, but it's also not moist. It's somewhere in between. And I would say that, you know, realistically, if I could, I would be watering this in right now, but I'm not going to drag a hose out. What I am going to do though, which is the third consideration, is if you've seeded sunflowers, you know that the birds will get to them if you haven't seeded them deep enough or if you don't cover them. So I am going to put some frost cloth over this and that will also continue to help keep the soil a little bit warmer than what it would be without that frost cover plus protect it from the birds so once i do that and once we get that rainfall in two days i actually think we should start seeing germination within the next week or so and i'll keep you updated so if you don't follow me on instagram i would suggest that you follow me on Instagram um, because I often post just day-to-day -day, uh, progress and what's going on so obviously you know this video is going to launch at a certain point in time um, and then if you want the real time updates follow me on Instagram but anyway I hope this video was helpful for you if you live in zone six seven even five look at your weather right it's not always just you know the frost date, look at what is blooming around you. Uh, typically, you know, when the crocuses come up, that is like a really good indicator that spring is here. I look at the forsythia whenever they bloom. So like we got out of the hospital, we were driving home. It's like, oh, like the forsythia, like it's all yellow. And that is a really good sign that the soil temperatures are getting to a stage where we're ready to direct seed or even consider putting some of the more hardier warm annuals out such as sunflowers. So if you were soil blocking or if you were um, growing sunflowers in plugs waiting to get them out, this might also be a decent time for you to experiment putting some out, especially if the next 10 days are favorable. Like I said, there's always a risk that we're going to get that killing frost sometime, you know, like right around our normal frost date. But look at the risk versus the reward, right? So just put a few out if, if you started, you know, um, a bunch or, you know, start another batch, right? Because the reward of getting sunflowers early is so much like worth that risk. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I will see you next time.